Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday the 28th of December and it's one o'clock in the morning. Firstly, I hope everyone had a good Christmas day or whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope it was good. <clears throat> Mine was, can't complain, we had a lovely Christmas dinner. Um, it was a shame that my sister or one of my brothers couldn't be with us but it was still good it was me our youngest brother mum and my stepdad <clears throat> so it was quite quiet but a good day nonetheless anyway i thought i'd do a little uh, christmas haul video should we call it that um i'm not going to show you the t-shirts or anything because to me that's boring. <laughs> Not unless anyone wants to see the t-shirts. Got a nice shirt from um, the girlfriend of my brother who couldn't be with us this year. Uh, I don't normally wear shirts. Mainly because I've never really gone out and bought any. Not because I don't like wearing them. So you've got a nice... Uh, my shirt that I actually think this would look quite nice with a pair of jeans and I'm always wearing jeans so let's fold that up I'll show you some of the t-shirts shall I so there's that one <clears throat> this is another really nice one that will definitely get saved for best not that I actually go anywhere but I do like that one. And I've got a bunch of t-shirts down there. <clears throat> Excuse me. With their various pictures and themes on them. One with a Volkswagen camper on it. A Volkswagen bus, I should say. I'll show you that one because it is nice. I've got one here, which is similar to what I'm wearing. You know, the, um, psycho, the psychopath one, as in cycle. <clears throat> but mum got me another one. Well, she was a bit apologetic because she's like, you know, already got one. But I said, well, everything is different on this one, see? Different layout and whatnot. And I actually quite like this one as well. suppose this is like a newer version of this shirt because uh, my sister got me this one I don't think it was last Christmas I think it was the one before 2018 I think I can't remember <clears throat> oh I've got a coca-cola one here oh I can uh, unfold it Which I actually, I like the colour of this to be honest. <clears throat> but I would prefer Pepsi. Only because I can't drink, you know, the full sugar Coca-Cola or any drink. And I really don't like Coca-Cola's Diet Coke. It's just, to my taste buds, there's no taste to it. So, both me and my youngest brother are both uh, Pepsi Max drinkers. <clears throat> right. I'll show you this one. There is one more black t-shirt down there. There we go. See? That's the back picture. Which I didn't notice until I got ready to do this video. Well, I think that's a lovely picture on the back of that. Because when I opened this up, I just saw that. Didn't notice the back. Don't know how I didn't notice this picture on the back, but I didn't. It's got a nice little picture of a V-dub bus there as well. What was the last one? Some of Nemo's hair floating around in here. I can't remember what the last one was. Oh yeah. 
If you think I'm an idiot, you should meet my brother. <laughs> I think my sister got me one of these t-shirts, but I've completely forgotten which one it was. <clears throat> I've actually got to post some presents there. Well, I've got to finish getting some presents and uh, post them down to them. They don't know that yet. They're probably sitting there thinking, I haven't got them anything, but I've got something for my sister, at least, in the kitchen. <clears throat> I haven't forgotten. It's just that I forgot to take... Well, I chose not to take my sister's one down to Mum so my stepdad could take it down to them because I haven't got anything for her partner yet. So I thought I'd get something for her partner, box them up, post them down to them. So that's what I'm going to do. Anywho, let's move on because I've got quite a number of items here to look at. I just need to rearrange a few bits. <laughs> of course, I've got the obligatory Lego, which seems to be a yearly thing for me. I actually got a lot more this year than I was expecting. And a couple of expen expensive sets that I did not expect. So, Lego-wise, I'm going to turn you around for this because it's on this coffee table. That is what I got. Are we all in shot? It's hard to see. <laughs> I think we are. So, uh, all of this came from a mum and stepdad apart from the Technic Crane, which came from my youngest brother. Uh, let's move that out of the way for a minute. Um, so we've got the Lego Creator bus, double-decker bus, which I think was off shot there. Just a dinky little one. Lego do make a very large one, like my Mustang and uh, Aston Martin models. I do a foot like a full-size model of the uh, Route Master as well. Um, got a little Christmassy themed set here as well. Bit late to build this one. I might put this away and do that next year. Because I've actually got quite a few sort of Christmassy themed sets. I am really thinking, let me just tip you up, see there's a few there. I have been thinking of um, boxing those up with my Christmas decorations so they come out next year. So I might do the same with that one. Not that I need another Lego tree because I've already got two. There's one up on that shelf somewhere and there's one over by my PC. <laughs> But uh, it doesn't matter. Now, these three sets, yes, that was a separate one, are what they call a custom sets or mock sets. Um, basically, what some people do, and they probably do this, you know, to fund their um, Lego hobby as well, is that they get a bunch of... Uh, Genuine Lego bricks, these are all made from genuine Lego bricks, design some sets themselves like this and then sell them. And Mum found these on eBay and in a box behind me. They are shipped disassembled, but they do come with uh, little printed instruction seat, um, sheets, seats even. So we've got that, we've got the London taxi, we've got like a, a typical British street scene items here, we've got the phone box. With the red phone box these windows should be segmented into tiny little ones but you can't really do that with Lego. Not on that scale anyway, I mean that is minifig scale phone box. We've got the little uh, Royal Mail red f uh, post box there. And a little street light. And that was another little one that they got me, a little uh, ATM machine. Unfortunately, I don't have my Lego City anymore. Because <laughs> they would have been great for my Lego City, but never mind. I've actually got the parts to build another one of these if I really wanted to, and I've got the instructions, so... One day I will have a Lego City again. Because I still plan to move out of this place next year. Um, Gonna enlist the help from Mum. Nemo's awake. Anyway, the other thing which I did enjoy building, and it did take me a long time. This took me longer. That took me about four hours. This took me about five, maybe five and a half. 
But uh, that train is um, <clears throat> what they call a crocodile. I really don't know any info on it, I've not read up on it yet, but they, the instruction manual does have a bit of its history written in it. Well, that was quite a fun build, and yes, that will work on the normal Lego railway track, and it can be motorised. It hasn't got a motor in it at the moment, but one can be fitted, so I'm going to buy one. Because <clears throat> unfortunately, what I've got on my current Lego trains won't work on now. I need the uh, brand new system that Lego came out with last year, I believe. But not to worry, I will get that later. I've got a Nemo down here as well now. Mum also got me some um, skeletons. I don't have any skeletons in my collection of minifigures, so I'm pretty pleased to have those. <clears throat> It'll be great to do like a little uh, Halloween diorama. Right, make a bit of room so I can stack some stuff up here. There's one more Lego item down beside me, which I'll just quickly show you. The um, mobile command center. I haven't got to building that one yet. I was too excited to build those two. And I built these down at Mum's just so, you know, my stepdad and my brother could see the finished article. I just thought that would be nice. Because I got a feeling the uh, locomotive was, was my stepdad's idea, and my brother got me that. The only problem is I can't get that crane up on the shelf with the two diggers. <laughs> there isn't enough room. Right, <clears throat> what else did I get? About four packs of boxer shorts, which is not a bad thing because I've been checking mine out. <clears throat> Keep finding bloody either holes in them. Or the elastic around the waist has gone. Well, that really matters because I seem to have quite a lot of boxer shorts anyway. I've got even more now. <laughs> I should be well stocked for a long time. Anywho. Oh! Mum got me a nice pair of gloves. These are suede. So they're not the sort of gloves that I want to use if I'm messing around in the garden or something. <clears throat> So I'll keep those to one side and only use them for perhaps when I'm going into town or something. But yeah, they are cheap. They are nice. They feel so suede <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. I'm getting tired. Right. <clears throat> Where'd that go just before I get to that? Did I actually show you anything my sister got me? I can't remember, but anyway. Oh well, yeah, one of those t-shirts is something my sister got me, but I can't remember which one. She also got me this little thing. If I hold it up the right way, it would help. It's like a tiny little cushion with a squirrel print on it. I can hang. I quite like that. <clears throat> All I want for Christmas... Oh, it's a Christmas decoration! It's the 28th of December and I've only just read the tag. All I want for Christmas decoration. <laughs> okay then, that will go in the um, box of Christmas decorations. So we'll put that under the tree. Despite having a Christmas tree, you know, I have never put any presents under that. <clears throat> right, another one from my sister. A couple of boxes of Matchbox cars, five car packs. Got the uh, police one. Does it say please? Well, it doesn't say what it is on the bottom. There's five times cars. That one's actually got MBX construction. Now I'm pretty damn chuffed to have these because can't get Matchbox here in town. Get Hot Wheels. I can get single Hot Wheels nine, the nine packs and the five packs. I'll show you these in a minute. But not Matchbox. Used to be able to, but both stores that stopped them stopped for some reason. And the nearest place I could go to to get them is Norwich. But I don't drive. I don't feel right, you know, asking someone to run me up purely to go and look at some Matchbox cars. There's only two places I know of that actually sell them, and that's Tesco's and a little toy shop called Langley's. 
assuming it's still there, I've been to that, that place for years. Um, I don't really feel comfortable using public transport at the minute. Well, for a number of reasons. One, because of my social anxiety, and two, because of that dreaded virus that's going around. <laughs> Which is just making my anxiety even worse, to be honest. I don't really like going shopping and whatnot, but it's got to be done. I won't eat otherwise. Anyway, from Mum and my stepdad, three Hot Wheels packs. Now, I was with Mum when she bought these. Because I was actually looking at them and was going to buy a few myself that day. But she said, pick some, put them in the trolley and you can have them at Christmas. So, here's one, which is the Hot Wheels Exotics that I picked. Um, I'd actually forgotten about these until I opened them up Christmas Day. Because <laughs> these were bought a couple of months ago. Uh, Hot Wheels Flames. I do like their Flames series. The third one I picked is the um, night burners. I did actually go back and buy a couple more for myself. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <clears throat> so some nice sets there actually. Random money pot. My little pony tin. It's sealed. Now. The only problem I have with sealed money boxes, especially like this, when My Little Pony merch is actually quite collectible. Don't know if that would be worth anything, but you never know in 20 years time. Um, if you actually filled it up, you have to cut that off. You have to use a tin opener to cut the lid off. I suppose you could cut the bottom off, whichever you want to do, but I might use it. Or I might leave it as it is. Don't know. We shall see. Right. I think this is the last item that my sister got me. And she got our little brother this as well, because he's uh, moving into a flat this week. Yeah, I think Mum's uh, not sure what to uh, think about that. Because he's the last one to uh, fly the nest, so to speak. I was the first. <laughs> Technically, I was actually kicked out, and Mum has regretted doing that ever since. But uh, it's in the past as far as I'm concerned. I don't care. <laughs> that was based on her sister's advice. And she said she, she never took that advice. But we all make mistakes. We all do things we wish we didn't do. I don't hold it against her. You know. Nemo seems to disagree, but... <laughs> Anyway, that's, that's another story. So yeah, we got that. My brother's got one for his flat as well. Um, I won't get into those yet. Also got a radio-controlled clock, and I had to explain to my stepdad how these worked. He's like, "How do you have a radio-controlled clock?" Um, I can't remember what it's called, but there is that central thing that emits a radio signal, isn't there? That uh, keeps a such clock. In sync. Such clock, such clocks. In sync. Including watches. You can get radio control watches that do the same thing. But uh, what I really like about this is not the radio control feature. It's the fact it's got the um, humidity and temperature. On a nice wall-mounted clock. I've had the little digital ones that you can sit on like the side. On like a, a desk like this or a table or something. Um, in fact, I think I've still got one somewhere. I just don't use it. There's no batteries in it. But this I like. And I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to go above my um, computer monitor on that wall. Might do that tomorrow. Oh, bugger. I actually said I was going to help my brother tomorrow, didn't I? I suppose I could do that first and then come back and put the clock on the wall. Right. Nice brown box. See, it's known that one of my favourite animals is a squirrel. In fact, it's probably on top of my favourite animal list. So, 
mum and stepdad got me this. I don't know if it's meant to be, but I would consider that a, a festive decoration. Just because it's white and it's all glittery. I mean, you could leave it out all year round. There's actually no name or no printing or anything on it. But I do think I'm going to put this one with all the other Christmas decks and uh, just get it out at Christmas. So that can go over there with the other one. Go under the tree out of the way. Right. I think there's only two boxes left. Now, as many will know by now, I was on TV on the 2nd of December on uh, Filthy House SOS and uh, my very disgusting George Foreman grill featured on there. Even though it cleaned up really well with the uh, citrus fruit trick that worked a lot better than I thought that would. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is because my cleaning method was to basically heat it up and then scrape it off with a knife or something. Not realising that that damaged the um, non-stick. I should have realised because things were sticking to it. <laughs> so, I got this for Christmas. It's way... Well, I'm done throwing it about. Well, a new one. Box is a bit beat. When I say new one, I think this might actually be a used one. Just give myself a dead leg and land it straight on my muscle. <laughs> but uh, either way, it's just like my other one's got the ready to cook indicator light on it. When it goes green, it's ready. So, my old one could go in a bin because it's no use to anyone, not without any non stick on it. So that's another job for tomorrow, for the very near future. Now the next one, because I, I couldn't figure out what these two were, I was like, what the hell are these? These are quite heavy parcels. This one, <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't buy any, because I was going to. I've been thinking for the last sort of few months of buying myself a full screwdriver set, you know, a nice one so I could get rid of all my loose ones and have a set that's in a proper, you know, holder that I could either stick here in the flat and, you know, that I have some organisation with them for when I'm tinkering around with computers and whatnot, or down at the shed and, you know, use them down there for when I'm tinkering with bikes. But I'm glad I put that off. I can't remember why. I just kept putting it off and putting it off. I thought, nah, I'll make do with what I've got. <sighs> I got this. It is from Lidl's. It's Parkside brand. So it's from Lidl's. Put that up there, I think. And uh, it's a 114 piece set. It's got some electrician screwdrivers in there as well. Uh, I've got all the little bits, it's got some little socket bits there. So I need to have a good sort out of my screwdrivers because I need to put the ones that I definitely want to keep down in the toolbox at Mum's. And I've got a friend in mind who I'm going to give the rest to. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with my screwdrivers that I've got. I just fancied buying myself a brand new <laughs> screwdriver set which I put off only to have that in fact mum said it was when we were in Lidl's one day and I was looking at this and said I wouldn't mind a screwdriver set like that <laughs> so uh, she got me the screwdriver set with ergonomic handles for comfortable working there's a brilliant, brilliant set. I've got all the precision ones in there as well. Yeah, like I said, I've got a friend in mind for the ones that I don't want. In fact, there's going to be quite a few tools and whatnot going her way, I think. When I'm able to get over there. If it isn't for the fact I've been busy with other things, it's been this poxy virus getting in the way. 
<coughs> and so anyway, that is it. That was the last item. I think. Yep. Um, I am actually tempted to do a separate video on this. You know, having a look at everything that's there, because there is a lot there. a nice bench thing. Now what I was thinking of doing, but I don't know if I'm going to because I still want to move from this flat into a nice little bungalow with a garden and whatnot, but I was thinking of finding some sort of small dining table or something to put up this corner. So I've got a nice little work table to work on. So I'm, if I do, I'm not going to look for a decent dining table. I just want an old tatty one. Because I thought if I put it there, I could look out the window. Which I think would be quite nice. But there's a lot to look at out of that window, but... <laughs> I'd have somewhere to stand the screwdrivers as well, wouldn't I? But I don't know if I want to do that. Or wait to see, you know, about getting into a, a different bungalow or whatever. Either via mutual exchange or contacting Victory and see if there's actually anything that they can do because uh, you know there's a lot of problems with me live, living here now nothing major I'm not in any trouble or anything but mum with her back can't manage the stairs and as she's technically my carer she can't care for me um, so there's problem number one Problem number two, I would actually say, is my own psych, um, my own mental health, because I really want, wanted to keep my LEGO City, but uh, there just isn't room. I want to build a LEGO City again, but I don't want, you know, this lounge to go back to the way it was, because it was just so... I got to the point where I just felt so cramped and enclosed because all I literally had was space up that corner by the computer and I hated that. I was getting to the point where I hated that. I wasn't making any Lego videos for my Lego YouTube channel because I just wasn't feeling motivated. So the fact I've now got this space is something I'm really, really grateful for. So, you know, probably one of the well, I suppose a lot of people will disagree on this, but for me, one of the best things coming out of being on TV was getting this lounge sword. But I think a lot of people would disagree because the bathroom and the kitchen was the filthiest. Apart from the leftover food up the corner, which I don't do anymore. Look, I can turn you around now, look. <laughs> There's a little micro-machine to car on the floor and an LED, and that is it. And an empty Coke bowl standing there, which I'll put in the bin in a minute. I forgot that was under there. That's the, what I'm trying to not do is forget about things like that. Because I'll stand a Coke bottle like that under that shelf and I'll forget about it. And I'll think, oh, I'll put that in the bin later. I'll forget about it. And I'll look at it again like I just did and go, oh yeah, I've got a bottle there to go in the bin. I'll do that in a minute. I wouldn't be surprised if I shut this camera down and completely forget about it again. <laughs> My, because of my autism, my memory is really bad. I don't know why I did that either. <laughs> um, yeah, one known symptom, if you want to call it that. Or uh, known issue, I don't know what to call it. But it is common for those with autism to have very bad short-term memory. <clears throat> Unfortunately. <laughs> I hate it. I can remember stuff from my childhood that mum can't even remember <laughs> until I've mentioned it. Um, and I can remember stuff from like last year, I can remember stuff from last week. Try to get me to remember certain things from the day before or even from today. Nope. Hope in hell's chance. <clears throat> Actually just this afternoon, funny thing. <laughs> I was talking to mum in the utility room at her place and I walked from the utility room to the dining room st 
stood in the dining room and completely forgotten why I'd actually walked to the dining room. I still don't know why I walked to the dining room, actually. <laughs> Maybe I just did it at random. Maybe my brain was just on autopilot or something. But I do that quite a lot. I think that used to annoy mum when I was younger because she'd ask me to uh, go to the kitchen to say get her cigarettes and lighter for example and I'd get as far as like the lounge door and I'll turn around and say what did you ask me to get because <laughs> by the time I'd stood up and gotten to the door I'd forgotten <clears throat> but uh, it doesn't just piss off the people who are asking you to do things it actually pisses me off as well because a lot of time I then have to turn around and sometimes I've had to walk all the way back somewhere. <laughs> Quite a long walk. Just to find out what it was that I'd forgotten to go and get. <clears throat> you want your dish filled up again? Is that what you're after? Say hello to everyone on YouTube? No? No, okay. <laughs> That's my elbow. I'm just rambling now. Oh. Yeah, my brother brought me home tonight with all this stuff because there's no way I could have gotten this on a bicycle. And uh, he asked me tonight if I would just help him run some boxes over to his flat tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. We haven't got to be up super early. Apparently he's getting a van, hopefully Tuesday, to get the rest. It's literally what's in his bedroom. So it's a bed, a computer desk, a wardrobe, a chest of drawers, his TV and his computer, and that's about it. <laughs> we could literally do it in one shot. I think he's having mum's current sofas, but not until she moves, because she's got some sofas and storage that she wants to use in the new place. Um, Oh, and he's having the dining table that Mum's currently got. I don't know why he wants that big thing for. Oh, yeah. We've got to shrink that down. Uh, he's got a load of stuff in his office at Mum's, but it's stuff that needs sorting. And he wants to sell a bunch of stuff that's in there anyway, so that's going to stay there for now. In fact, I'm going to be buying some of it. I want a couple of the consoles that he's got. I want his Mega Drive. Not for the console. Just because I want the games and I want the controllers. Um, I know at least one of my controllers is a bit... Yeah, and I think he said he's got three. So I was hoping I could pinch a good one from that one as well as the games and then sell on the rest of it. And he's got a master system that I want as well. I regret selling my other one. He's also got a Nintendo 64, which I'm very tempted by. Not that I've actually got anywhere up here to set one up. <laughs> Although I've got TV in the other room, so I could set one up in there. Hmm. But yeah, I might actually go in there at some point during the week, whenever I've got some spare time, and uh, put the bits I want to one side. Or even in a box, because he's got boxes galore in there. That the wheels for his uh, Ford Escort came in actually, so if there's any boxes left in there, because I know he's been packing stuff up from his bedroom, I'll uh, nab one and put what I want in that box. He's got about four PlayStation 1s, but I don't really need any more of them. I don't need any controllers or whatnot, or memory cards. I've got a bunch of memory cards. There's two in that one, and there's a bunch of them in the bedroom as well. Might have his PS2 if he wants to sell that. Because I could do with a better controller. But then again, I might as well just go out and buy a bloody controller. <laughs> you can get them on eBay, you can get them at car boot sales. I do hope car boot sales start up again next year. <clears throat> yeah, actually I'll probably scrub that idea and just stick with the master system and the Mega Drive. Not unless he wants to sell me just one of the... Um, controllers in the games. I'll buy them off of him.
Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to shut this camera down. I'm getting tired. There's a few things I still want to do before I go to bed. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm not one of these YouTubers that hate people disliking my videos. I don't expect everyone to like them. You know, if you don't like them, you don't like them. <laughs> anyway, as I said, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you all again in the next one. Bye.